I just really, really, really wanted to film a tutorial using the Smashbox Masterclass 2 palette. Um, I haven't seen a lot of tutorials using this palette yet, so I really wanted to get one up. I absolutely love this palette. This is probably uh, the only thing that would be new for me if I did a November Favorites, and it would be this palette. Um, it comes with 28 eyeshadows over here, 4 liners, uh, 5 blushes, 1 bronzer, and then 2 highlighting powders. Um, I use the colors today. I use the Shimmer, the Warm Apricot, the Cav... Oops! Can't even see. The Shimmer, the Warm Apricot, the Caviar. I used all four of these shades down here. And then I used these two shades. Can't even see. So I used... It's Flamingo and Ju... Oh my gosh! This thing won't hold. The only thing that bothers me about this, so that's Java Flamingo, and then I use this one up here, which is called Linen. Um, that was my highlight. It's an amazing highlight, too. So, anyways, I'm not going to delay you too much further. Um, we're going to just get right into the tutorial, and I hope you enjoy this look. Um, if you have done a tutorial using this palette, you can link it below, or just let me know, hey, go check out my channel, I have a video up, or if you've seen any. Please let me know. I'm looking for all kinds of different looks of different ways I can use this palette. Um, I absolutely love it. It's an amazing palette. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, sorry it took so long for me to get something else up. Um, life just gets crazy sometimes. But thanks for subscribing and uh, stay tuned for more. So I've already done my contouring and my foundation using the shimmer and the warm apricot and the suntan out of the palette. Now I'm taking the color Sable on my Sigma E40 brush and applying this to my crease. This is my blending color. I don't want to get this on too, too thick because it is a darker color. And just to soften it up, I do go in with the color Wheat over top of that. So I have a uh, double blending color using those two shades. Now I'm taking my Sigma E55 brush and applying the color Flamingo all over the eyelids, packing this on as uh, thickly as possible. Taking my Sigma E25 brush and taking the smallest amount of the color Java and applying this to the outer V of my eye. You can see how precise I'm trying to be. I really don't want this to be a dark look. I want this to be a daytime look. I was finding it hard to blend out this color job. I really wanted to stay where I applied it, so I just needed to grab some more just to make the edges look not so rigid for this look. And again, taking the smallest amount and applying it to the outer V. Now I'm just taking my tapered blending brush, the E40 again, and using the color Wheat, I'm trying to lighten that Java color. It was a little too dark for my liking. Taking just an e.l.f. brush, I am applying the color Linen to highlight my brow bone there. And we also use it to highlight the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm taking a small ankle brush, this one is from Sephora, and applying the color Java just to the outer part of my lower lash line, and it doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to be blending this out. Taking my Sigma pencil brush, the E30, 
and the color sable I am blending out that Java all over the lash line I want it to be the darkest in the outer corner and the lightest color in the inner corner kind of a gradient effect and this is the only liner I'm putting under my eye I don't use any other colors if you want this to be a darker look or more defined you can add any liner that you want under your eye Now I am going in and setting my concealer with uh, my Real Techniques tapered blending brush and this is a uh, MAC Accentuate that I am using. Now taking my E65 from Sigma and the Gel Eyeliner Caviar out of the palette, I am lining the upper lash line. And I will be setting this with the color Blackout, which is also in the palette. Curling my lashes here to get ready for mascara. Here I am applying the Benefit They're Real to my upper lash line. And this is Too Faced uh, Better Than False Lashes. I'm applying the step one and three first. Then I will go on and apply the fibers, so the step two that comes with it. And finishing with my third coat, final of the Better Than False Lashes mascara. This is by far my favorite mascara ever. It does look like you have false lashes on. And just using my L'Oreal uh, Luminous Hydrogen Fuge Mascara, the waterproof one, on my lower lashes. This is one of my Buxom lipsticks. I don't really remember what the name of it is, but it will be in the bottom bar. And I will top this using my MAC Lip Glass in Snob. And this is my finished look after I uh, comb out my lashes. I do have a little bit with the trouble with the uh, fibers grabbing and pulling my lashes together so I need to learn how to uh, stop doing that. But again this is the finished look. I did set my uh, look with some spray but thanks for watching. I hope to see you again on my channel. I hope you enjoyed this look and again link me to any looks that you have found using the Smashbosh using this palette. Hi ladies, it has been a really long time since I have filmed uh, pretty much anything other than my Birchbox and Ipsy. Um, just my life has been crazy the past month and a half. I had a one of my major uh, actuarial exams I sat for, and the day before that exam, my fiance's grandfather passed away, so I had to 
I didn't have to, but I did go away for that. Um, and then after that, I had an inflamed hair follicle on my lower lash line, so I couldn't really wear makeup around my eye. Like, it was so sore and itchy, and it just hurt so bad. It was miserable, and I have no idea why, but I'm like, you can probably see, like, all the little bumps. I am breaking out everywhere, and I have no idea why. I think it's one of the new lotions that I got, uh, face lotions, so, um... Yeah, my face has not been this bad in years, so it's just bad. 